Assalamu alaikum, my people. Ramadan Mubarak. Why so far away? Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Ooh. Anyways, I just got back from Tarawih, hence why I'm still wearing my thobe. But listen, you guys have been wanting me for a while to do a day in the life where I balance like college and deen and fasting and Ramadan and all that kind of stuff. And to be honest, I'm barely balancing it right now. Man is struggling out here. I'm gonna take you guys with me on a full day tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a very, very busy day. I'm not looking forward to it at all, but I am excited to take you guys with me and it'll give you a little insight on how busy my days really are. So it should be fun, but yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Single night, you have that choice. You can either choose to play video games and scroll on Insta. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Oh, look at those eye bags. So I didn't really record much for Sahud for obvious reasons. I can barely remember what my name is during Sahud. But we're awake. I just showered, got dressed. It's Jumaa, <clears throat> and I have about 30 minutes till I have to head to school. So I'm gonna review a couple notes, read Surah Al Kaf, because I don't really have any time to do that throughout the day. You guys are about to see why. And yeah, it's going to be a very, very busy. Uh, but good day, inshallah. Inna ja'alna ma'ala al-ardi zinatan laha linabluwahum ayyuhum ahsanu amala. Wa inna la ja'iluna ma'alayha sa'idan juruza. Am hasibta anna ashab al-kahf wal-raqim kanu min ayatina ajaba. Idh hawa al-fitiyatu ila al-kahf faqalu rabbana atina min ladunka rahma. Rabbana atina min ladunka rahma. So I just finished my first class. I have about an hour break before my next couple classes start. I like using this time to kind of just catch up on homework, get things done. Be more productive. I also usually use this time to eat lunch, but yeah. One thing that does suck though is that it's Juma, but I don't actually get to go to Juma because I have multiple classes back to back when Juma is offered. So that really sucks, but Inshallah, graduation's in like five weeks, and then I get to go to as many Jumas as I want. <laughs> so I just got out of biochem. My brain cells are absolutely fried, and I still have another three hour class that I have to go to. I have a 10 minute break. I'm rushing over right now to go pray Dohud. I have like zero time. <laughs> so I just got out of the lab. It's like 5.30, but I'm still not done. I'm in a different lab now because I have to finish up uh, some work from before. Empty classroom, dude. It's pretty cool. I don't really have to do much, so it shouldn't take too long. But it's kind of nice having the whole classroom to yourself. I could do whatever I want. Throw a party in here, have a thought in here. <laughs> So Alhamdulillah, I'm finally done with school for the day, headed home, but guess what? I'm not done, because I'm never done. It never ends. Um, I got an Arabic class at six that I do online, so headed to that, inshallah. So a lot of people ask me how to balance Dean and school, 
right? Especially if classes conflict with prayers or all that kind of stuff. Realistically, it just comes down to time management, right? You have to figure out kind of the gaps in your day where you can, you know, pray your salah or in, or in, in Ramadan, you know, read the extra Quran or whatever, right? So earlier I had that hour break in between my classes and I used that part of that time at least to read my Quran. And as I'm headed home right now, I'm listening to Quran. And when I get home before Maghrib, I'll have a bit of time where I can also read that Quran. So it's about finding those gaps and really, really, especially in Ramadan, being wise with your time and using it best as you can, as best as you can. so tired there's there's like an hour left till maghrib i'm starting to crash <laughs> i have no energy left uh, the measure they're doing a community of thought today so i'm actually excited for that but it's a matter of actually making it till maghrib at this point <laughs> yeah Because that choice is up to you. Every single night after Tarawih, when we go home, and you have a couple hours before you decide to go to sleep, you have a choice. You know, Allah is giving us this opportunity, saying the gates of Jannah are open in this month. You know, my mercy is for whoever wants it. But we decide to kick back. We say, you know, I've had a long day at work. I've had a long day at school. I'm just going to relax. I'm going to sleep till till Mecca. I'm 125. I'm 125. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 11.30. We just got back from Tarawih. And, um, yeah. <laughs> it's been what a heck of a day. Made myself a smoothie because I deserve it. And I'm just gonna use the rest of the day to wind down. I'm gonna edit this video. And then I like to kind of read before um, going to bed. Helps me kind of wind down a bit and then probably journal as well. Cause I like just getting all my thoughts out of my head and just having a clear mind before I go to sleep. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. To be honest, today was a pretty accurate example of what my days look like, unfortunately. They are very, very busy. The uh, the work life, ba well, the school life balance isn't exactly ideal, but you know, sometimes you have to suffer a bit um, to reach your goals. And so it is what it is, alhamdulillah. And that's what we say, right? Alhamdulillah for everything. Could be a lot worse. And you gotta make the most out of your situation. That's gonna be it for me. If you watch till the end of this, let me know genuinely if you guys wanna see more vlogs. Because to me, they seem a little boring. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not, you know, there with the whole editing and whatnot and, and making these videos interesting. But if you want more vlogs, inshallah, I'll try to do maybe one more Ramadan vlog, inshallah. My voice sounds absolutely terrible, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it. And I'll catch you guys later. Assalamu alaikum.